Welcome once again. Uh, final conversation this morning on The Breakfast is going in sports. Um, and of course, we're talking of Blessing Okagbae this morning, whose drug test uh, conversations seem to be getting even worse than uh, we initially had imagined. There's now talks that she might risk jail time uh, for failing certain drug tests. We're speaking this morning with Akintunde Bada Johnson, a sports analyst. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. All right, good morning. All right. Um, so, I mean, when I heard this yesterday, I was shocked because I, I wasn't sure why we're having conversations about jail if someone misses uh, or fails a drug test or misses, you know, a drug test. Uh, so, kindly share with us, you know, clarify what exactly, how serious this is concerning Blessing Okagbari. I think in an extreme scenario, um, you were talking about this as a criminal offense, uh, but it's just a, a breach of pro a sporting procedure or uh, sporting rules. So uh, as we all know, as I, or I assume we all know, Blessing or Kabare failed an out-of-competition test in the lead-up to the just-concluded Olympic Games in Tokyo. And on the eve of the semifinals of the 100-meter race, um, she was banned and prevented from, from contesting and competing for an Olympic medal. Um, in the aftermath of that, well, she was banned, obviously, because she tested positive for banned uh, substances or substances that are listed on the, um, the, the list of substances that cannot be found within the system of an athlete. Um, one of them is a substance that they give to, to horses, which produces red blood cells and obviously enhances performances. So um, in the aftermath of that, her B sample has been tested uh, because she appealed against that ban and the same substance was picked up or the same substances were picked up in a B sample, which then meant that um, instead of getting a two-year or three-year ban, she got a maximum four-year ban, which ordinarily, if you started counting from 2021, should prevent her from competing at the next Olympic Games in 2024. But the dimension where this is going um, is, is worrying because ordinarily, you will have the athlete and her federation speaking from the same uh, speaking the same thing, singing from the same hymn sheet. But unfortunately, the Athletics Federation of Nigeria is almost admitting that Okagbari um, is guilty, whereas Okagbari is insisting that she's innocent um, and, and that there are individuals who are just after her. Um, there are obviously procedures um, that she can take to prove her innocence, but the possibility of that happening from history um, is really, really remote. It, it, the chances that she will get out of, of this is very remote. Same way, the chances that she will end up in jail um, is remote. And the, the simple ground for talking criminality is because um, when you fill a drug test, there are certain procedures that you, you, you are typically expected to adhere to and comply with that the world body is claiming that Okagbari is not cooperating with. Um, but like I said, it would take um, very extraordinary circumstances for a sport man to go to jail. Uh, but is it a possibility? However remote it is, yes. Okay, um, so the next concern here is how did we even get to this level in the first instance? I mean, saying that, uh, you know, you have the body, the Athletic Federation of Nigeria. I mean, how did they allow it get to this point? Because I know that for her to be qualified to uh, play the games and all of that or contest uh, for yeah. these games, I'm sure there should be some procedure. So how did, he, how did we just, uh, just got, got to that position or get to that position without uh, we having the body that is responsible doing the need for? You're very right. You're very correct. So there are trials um, ahead of the Olympic Games, but in athletics, uh, people qualify for the Olympic Games based on the times that they re they've returned. So Kagbari, obviously competing in, in the international circuit, had run uh, decent enough times to qualify to be a part of our team. So I'm not sure she ran any race in Nigeria, and I'm not sure she ever got tested in Nigeria. That's why the, the test that she failed was an out-of-competition test, which was taken some months before the Olympic Games. Um, in terms of why there is no synergy between the 
Athletics Federation of Nigeria and Blessing of Kagbari, obviously there had been some bad blood in there, there had been some infighting in there, which is not uncommon with the Nigeria sports space. Just yesterday here, our female basketballers re released a video, a very embarrassing video, um, you know, talking about how they're being owed bonuses and allowances from 2017 when they won the first Africa uh, Women's Basketball Championship and have defended it twice since then and still haven't been paid. So, um, Okagbari not being um, on good terms with the Federation is not something that is dissimilar with the sort of relationship that sportmen in other uh, sports, you know, the sort of relationships they have with their administrators. Usually, they are loggerheads because the administrators typically don't do what they're supposed to do. A lot of them don't even know what they're supposed to do. And these guys are exposed to the best training facilities, the best processes and pro procedures, what best practices in sports. So they have very, very minimal appetite for, for the nonsense that they confront in Nigeria. So usually they're not just, you know, best friends or best of friends with the guys that run uh, the, the federation. So it is not surprising that um, this is happening but I don't know that the Athletic Federation could have prevented Blessing from representing us, uh, from representing us rather, at the Olympic Games, uh, simply because she's one of our best runners. She's actually an Olympic silver medalist from Beijing Games in 2008, uh, one of our medal prospects, without a doubt. And obviously, the only reason she wouldn't have made the party to the Olympics was if she didn't run a decent enough time to qualify, which she did. So um, the Athletic Federation is culpable of so many things. This one is not one of them. Well, it yeah, seems she's, you know, once again a victim of Nigeria's Athletics Federation and Nigeria's Sports in, you know, Ministry in general. Um, what is the best way that this can play out, if you can, in 30 seconds? Well, best case scenario will be, um, I don't know that she can appeal again. Um, I think she will serve out her ban. Uh, but from this point on, she then needs to, herself and her handlers now need to uh, be very measured um, in what they say and what they do and just cooperate with the world body to ensure that this doesn't get um, even worse from here. Well, and hopefully it doesn't also dump Nigeria and, um, and uh, run for another country. She, I doubt she can. She's in the twilight of her career. Yeah. She's quite advanced in age. Uh, she's well over 30. I'm not sure that uh, that's an ambition. At worst, if she's so upset, she probably never represents Nigeria again, um, which in itself is a remote possibility considering her age. If she's getting banned for four years, she probably will be in her mid-30s. And between now and then, Nigeria would have discovered um, younger talent, talent uh, yeah. who should be maybe doing better. Okay. Um, sadly, we'll have to wrap up here. Akintunde Bada Johnson, thank you so much for your time this morning. And of me. course, uh, helping us understand that she might uh, not be going to jail after all. Uh, wish you a very interesting weekend ahead. Wish you the same, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. And uh, this is where we will be wrapping up as always. Uh, it's a Friday, so we're back here again on Monday morning. Uh, for now, reach out to our social media platforms to catch up on any parts of the conversations throughout the week that you may have missed. It's simply at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. She is Messi Abupo. And he is Osarugi. <laughs> and I will Osarugi Ogmore. <laughs> <laughs>